Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Xenogears. Um, I guess I can't use the analog stick. But well, let's go this way. Black Moon Forest, because that's the only place we can go. Oh. I remember the villagers were saying this is a dangerous place. Too bad. <clears throat> Hello, Wolfies. Oh, I can do four now. That means we might be able to start learning death blows now. Leave me alone. I hate you. Um, we'll do that. Next. get money from humanoid monsters in this game, but I'm not quite sure on that. Let me go in my menu. <sighs> oh, I want status here. Skills. I'm not learning anything yet. Damn. Okay. Um. There's some items you can get here, but you gotta do some crafty platforming to get to them. So, um. Never been good at platforming. <laughs> uh, let's see, where do I need to go? Can't go up there, I don't think. Nope. We have to do some platforming anyway. It's over here. Oh! Hey! Oh, it's showing us the way. Thank you! Rah! Rah! Can we fight you now? Yep. <laughs> This way. I want more jerky. I don't know why, I just like the way he fights. I show you. Go up to six. Um, for the, you know, the points to attack. I think it's six. I think six is the max. I'm not sure. Hello. Um, should I save? Nah. I only just got in here. You know, if I die, I die. I just come back and jump up the tree. Another one. Hi. I like 
the battle system in this game. Run away! Bye, Rock. It falls over there. Before I go any further... Um, look at all that hob jerky. Yes. Throw down your weapon. Make one wrong move and I'll shoot. Oh, sorry. Uh, turn around. I said, turn around. Are you shaking? Be quiet! You don't seem to be one of the Kislev soldiers who are after me, but... Don't move! I have orders to kill all surface dwellers, lambs, I come in contact with. It's part of my mission. It's nothing personal. I have a question for you. How do I get out of this forest? Are you lost? Just answer my question. How do I get out of here? Sorry, but I'm looking for the way out of here, too. Oh. How long are you just going to stand there like that? If you're going to shoot me, then hurry up and do it. What an odd thing to say. Don't you understand the situation you were in? I don't care about my situation. I'm just a guy whose life is worthless. There's no point in me living anyway. S step back! What are you aiming at? Here! Shoot me here! Come on! Are... are you mocking me? You're weird! Something's very wrong with you. You should at least resist a little bit. What's this? Who are you? Stop! Keep your hands off Ellie! Hang in there. Good, you finally woke up. You didn't move for so long I started to worry. How are you feeling? Do you still intend to kill me? Then go right ahead and shoot me. But you'd better not do it while we're in this forest. Forest monsters hate loud noises, you know. Fine. Don't talk to me if you don't want to. But it wouldn't kill you to thank me for tending your wounds. Th thanks. But you shouldn't have helped me. Don't think it will save your life, though. It really doesn't change a thing. What are you so afraid of? I'm not afraid. I'm just being cautious. It's natural for me to be this cautious considering I've met such a suspicious surface-dwelling lamb. Hmm. Don't you worry. I'm not gonna do anything. Besides, you're much more suspicious than I am. Huh? So, what's your name? I won't give my name to a surface-dweller lamb. What's with you in this lamb thing? 
We're both lost in this forest, surrounded by dangerous monsters. Shouldn't we at least be cooperating with each other until we get out of here? Good. So what's your name? It's going to be hard for us to cooperate with one another without at least knowing each other's names. Anyway, my name is Fei Fang Wong. You can call me Fei. I'm Elian, but my parents call me Ellie. Ellie, huh? Somehow I already knew that. Hmm? Anyway, it's too dangerous to travel in these parts this late at night. Let's wait until daybreak before we continue looking for a way out of here, if that's okay with you. I guess we have no choice, do we? Okay then, Ellie. How about having something to eat? Hob jerky! Because <laughs> that's all they have. You must be lonely here by yourself. Faye. 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 Faye? Are you awake? Okay. She's following us now. Um, let's, let's find a way out of here. It's a tree. Um, wait, wait, I saw something. Oh, signpost. Path up. Watch the cliffs. <laughs> oh, be quiet. Rawr. I will platform my way up. Hey. Oh, there's an item over there. Do I want to get it, though? Hmm. Okay. Gotta be kind of careful here. Rah! Okay. There's an item here. Survival tent. Nice. I will go ahead and save right here. Because I think I remember what's coming up. Save. Uh, I'll go ahead and save here. Cleaned up my uh, memory card a little bit. <laughs> okay. Um, do I want to go down there and get that item? I'm gonna get it. Oh, that wasn't worth it. I don't think I'm gonna jump up. No! Okay. Oh, get out of my way. There's another box there. Okay, how do I get back up there? Oh, there we go. Me up. Hi. What are you two doing here? Now where's that other box? There it is over there. Get out of my way, kitty. 
Sorry. <laughs> and you'll notice that Ellie's in our party now, helping us fight. So she fights with like a little rod thingy. And because she's not the same level as Faye, um, she only gets three points to attack for right now. It's like a baton, I think. That's what she fights with. Oh, jerky! I guess that was kind of worth it. What is this? Arcane Rod! Oh, that's a weapon for Ellie. So we're gonna do equip. And... Arcane Rod. That's a little bit of boost. Um... Can I jump up there? I don't think I can. Rah! Nope. <laughs> okay, um... Gonna have to jump back down again. Go up the cliffs again. <laughs> Is there any other items? What's over here? Oh, I guess that's the way that's the way out. We don't want to do that. Yeah, let's go over here. Wait, 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 wait. That was good. I didn't jump. It's some of the most frustrating moments of this game was me trying to platform. There's a part where you have to platform up this really tall... Oh god. Jump! Oh, this is embarrassing. It's Mega Man all over again. Okay. Okay. Jump! Thank you. And I don't mind fighting these things because of the hob jerky! Like free healing. Instead of using the aqua sauls. Headbutt. What's her heavy attack like? Hot jerky. Okay. Do do do. Um. Yeah, we'll go ahead and save again because I got those items. If I do die, I don't want to do that again. Shave my games. Don't want to do it. Yeah, I want to do it there. Okay. Jump up onto the thing. Birds? Dive bomber! status see if I'm starting to like death blows yet or not. Can you hurry up and do your dive bomber thing? Flutter! Okay, um... Thought. 
nothing. Okay. Oh. Faye. Yesterday you said your life was worthless. What did you mean by that? Why are you asking? Why? Yesterday you looked like you had a death wish. You think it wouldn't make me wonder? Say, how did you get stranded in this forest in the first place? I should ask you the same question. Huh? Well, I... um... I... ran away from my village. Or what's left of it. Village? You don't mean... Lan. It was a small village that existed between this forest and the mountain range. I ran away from there. That village... It was a nice, peaceful village. Everyone there treated me like family. Then, last night, a group of gears suddenly appeared and started fighting right in the middle of the place. The village was engulfed in flames. I couldn't just stand there and watch Lon be destroyed. So to try to save the villagers, I got in an empty gear, without even knowing how to operate it. I just thought maybe I could do it. No, it was more like someone whispering to me. Someone whispering to me, telling me to do it. But it was a disaster! The village... Was it destroyed by the Kislev army? Faye? No. The village was destroyed... by me. Yes, it was me. I destroyed Lon. I'm sure of it. What do you mean you destroyed it? I thought you were trying to help save the villagers. I did try to help. I actually took out a few gears. But then I came under heavy fire from a new group of gears. And then my friend, Timothy, was hit by a hail of bullets. Then I lost it. Everything just went dark. I don't remember anything after that. The gear I was in went out of control. Well, that's what Doc said. When I came to, the village, and everyone in it was... Alice. She was such a... Alice and Timothy. Oh god. Everybody. All such good people. Went out of control? The gear? What about the village? Faye? Yes, the gear! Damn them. They're still giving chase. We've entered Ava territory. I'm not giving up now. This gear's too important. That's done it. I'm at a disadvantage now. Van Hooten, what's wrong? Respond! Shrapnel, in my back. My thruster's output is dropping. I can't maintain altitude. Damn it! Everyone land now! Regroup on the ground. We'll have to engage them. I think someone else was talking. That's okay. They're the ones to blame. If they'd never come, none of this would have... If not for them. 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 Enough of that. You're a coward. A coward? Me? Yes, you're a coward. All you're saying is them, them, them. Don't talk as if you had no part in the blame as well. I'm to blame? Yes, that's right. Of course the direct cause of the battle was that a gear made an emergency landing in your village. But all Kislev wanted was the gear, right? They weren't invading out invading or out to destroy Lon. The real damage occurred because you climbed in a gear and tried to fight back. Whatever made you get into that gear? Not just anyone can pilot them. It takes training. There's no way a civilian could hope to pilot one. Besides, you should have been helping the village flee to safety instead. How can you blame the damage on a gear when it was your own decision to fight in it in the first place? Why don't you take some of the responsibility yourself? Why are you putting all the blame on others? That's just running away. That's what makes you a coward. Well, 
if you put it that way. Yes, that's right. I am a coward. I didn't realize my own strength and had been blaming what happened as a result of that on others. I'm a pitiful excuse for a man, but I just felt this rush of blood in me and I couldn't help myself. I couldn't help myself or help others. Faye, I, I'm... Shut up! What do you know? When I came to, I was surrounded by piles of rubble. I didn't know what had happened or what I had done. I remembered absolutely nothing. All I knew was that my hands could still feel what, what they had done. The only, th the only things that penetrated the gears barrier were screams. Screams accompanied by the stench of blood, and the sound of crushing bones, and my own curses. Look! Look at my hands! Can you hear their voices? Can you understand this feeling? The feeling of having destroyed your village with your own hands? Of not being able to do anything th for the children left behind? Now they have nothing. I have nothing. I have nowhere. No one. I didn't want to get in it. I had no choice. There was no other way. Why did I go and say that to him? You talk as if it's not your responsibility. No. I didn't do anything. They died because you had to pilot the gear and start fighting. It wasn't me, can't you understand? Not just anyone can pilot those machines, you know. I didn't do it. Why won't you take responsibility? I'm not so strong. Why are you trying to put the blame on others? I'm not even all that talented. You're a coward! That's right. I'm a coward. Yes, that's right. I am a coward. This game likes to do that to you. You're just going, what the hell is going on? Oh, hi. <laughs> do, do you know the way out of this forest? I guess not. Oh no! Ellie! I'm gonna come save you even though you just yelled at me! Hi. Ellie! Ow. There's no way he can fight that thing. You're gonna get eaten. Ellie, are you alright? Darn, she's unconscious. Alright, I'll take you on, dinosaur... thing. Yeah. Four point of damage! Yeah! Four points of damage. What's oh, a dragon? something happens, I think. Ow! Bastard! I have an idea. I have an idea. Ow! Um... Yeah. I'm not dying. <laughs> um... We're gonna use... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Gee. Let's try that. 
One damage. Crap. I've been searching for you. Here, you can use this. Hey, hold on a second. To tell me I can use it is one thing. Ellie. Damn it. Doc, I have a favor to ask. I will defeat this monster. But if it looks like I'm going if I'll go out of control like last time, then shoot me. Fate, let us pray that won't happen. Alright. Let's kick some ass. Sometimes it's not so smart to use the heavy attacks because they have a high chance of missing. Um, kind of like um, in Chrono Cross. Um, the weak ones have the best chance to hit. But I'm gonna chance it. Try the chi thing. See how much damage you do with that. Yes, yes, yes. You breathe on me and I get slowed. Um, uh, ether machine. Got a shot. Just because it looks cool. Zero! <sighs> Fine. Hey, bastard. You got two and- oh, it's cause I'm slowed. Say this'll take a little while. <laughs> Knock it off! You threw up on me. I'm sitting there going, gross! That's why I'm slow. <sighs> Come on now. Okay, it looks like he's getting weak, I think. Land on Ellie. I don't know. Ton of experience. Scales. I think you can sell those for a high price. Faye, are you alright? Yeah, I guess so. That fight with the Ranker was remarkable. An ordinary gear would not defeat that monster. You certainly keep yourself in good shape. Why did you bring this here, Doc? This? You mean Watel? Watel? This is the gear that destroyed our village. Why did you bother bringing it here? I never want to see another gear again. I understand how you must feel. But in order to protect yourself, you need a certain degree of strength. Even more, since we are being pursued. I agree with that. I agree that a certain degree of strength is needed for self-defense. And if it weren't for this gear here, Ellie and I'd be in that Ranker's stomach right now. But its power goes beyond what is necessary. Does this one really need the power to destroy everything? I don't need that kind of power. I just hate gears. Fate, using power or being used by power, is that not the problem of the heart? 
If humans do not use their power for wrong, it can be a good thing. I believe such power can help us. In that respect, I know you will be fine. It sure helped you out this time. Am I right? I want to believe that, but something is holding me back. This gear... Sucks. Well, whatever. At least Ellie is safe now. She seems to have come too. Huh? I am Saiten, a friend of Faye's. You almost did not make it. If Faye had not helped you, I'd hate to think what may have happened. But I was not too pleased with his rashness in trying to take on that racker with just his bare fists. Bare fists? Well, I'm glad that you were able to find a use for what I brought you. Let us just say we are borrowing what the Kislev army left behind. Oh. Thank you, Faye. This makes twice. Don't mention it. I'll just put it on your tab. This, it is getting dark. Let us make camp now and start out early tomorrow. The both of you look tired, and I need to make some repairs on our front here. No use. The knee actuator and bypass circuit are both ruined. The actuator can be fixed, but the circuit needs to be replaced. Oh, having trouble sleeping there? Yeah. I imagine you would. You have had quite a day. This is the machine Faye used when the village was attacked. There was another machine left sitting on the outskirts of the village. Nilbai or Daris Luz? It was yours, right? Just as I thought. The missing pilot from the gear that made an emergency landing in Lan, And the mysterious woman found wandering lost in the forest are actually one and the same person. Judging from your uniform, I would also say you're with the military. Am I correct? How... who are you? I checked the ID tags of the soldiers who died in the attack on Lan. The design on their tags and the design on your uniform there is the same. Do not worry. They were given proper burials. But, they may not have been too pleased to die in a foreign land. Maybe. Does Faye know about you? I don't think he has realized yet. Most likely. Faye knows nothing of the outside world of Lon. I see. So how come... In any case, it is best if we do not pry into each other's past anymore. But... Let us just say that I know a little more about the world than most do. Anyway, Ellie, I have a favor I must beg you to do. What is it? Go straight ahead, and you will come to a road. Then just keep going. You'll be... Will you... Uh, would you please leave us while Faye is still asleep? Unfortunate things keep happening around Faye. I would like to protect him if possible. I do not want him caught up in any vain struggles. I am also saying this for your benefit. Ellie, you do not belong here. Go back to your family. Um, I... Do not worry. I will not tell Faye what your true identity is. I will just tell him you went up to meet with your family. No, it is not that. I did something terrible to him. So, I want to apologize. Something terrible? Faye told me it was our fault our, your village was destroyed. Faye kept saying, if only they hadn't come. Then I called Faye a coward because he was trying to escape from the responsibility. But in fact, it was me who was trying to escape from taking the blame. If I hadn't crashed land there, they would all still be living peacefully now. And those innocent people wouldn't have been caught up in that tragedy. But I accused Faye. You are a rarity. I did not expect your people would ever think like that. To your people, sur surface dwellers are nothing more than dos domesticated animals, are they not? The shepherds, Abel, took over the surface dwelling lambs, possessing the right to give life and death unto them as they see fit. Exactly. Yet you seem to feel a responsibility towards Faye and the villagers. Why is that? I don't know myself. At Junjin, I was taught that surface dwellers were stupid and base. And that is why we have to control them. But... But upon meeting Faye, something about him made you feel differently? Yes, he's no different than we are. In fact, he seemed more powerful. He possesses something, something we don't, and also risked his life to save me, twice. Most of your people would feel ashamed at receiving such an act. 
Yet you are grateful to Faye? It's probably because of my father. He had an open mind to surface dwellers. My nanny was a surface dweller. No one knew about her, though. Besides, I am the same as Faye. The same? No, nothing. Never mind. I think I understand. I am sorry. After just saying we should not pry. It is my nature, you know. My wife says I am too persistent and I talk too much. But personally, I do not think I talk too much. It is probably best if you return home to your country. You really should not be here. I'll return to headquarters. But then what? You are worried. Yes. Worrying is natural. Even I used to worry once too, you know. Sighton. Anyway, let me handle what to tell Faye. You had better go now. Has Ellie gone yet? Oh, so you're awake. Yes, I woke up midway, so I only heard part of what you two were discussing. Discussing. Yeah. Ellie, so that's what she is. Faye, she is... I know, it's not Ellie's fault. What happened to the village is all my fault. I took out all my pent-up feelings on Ellie. I'm the one who should apologize. Faye, do not blame yourself. It was not your fault either. You were just trying to protect the village. Thanks, Doc. By the way, how is everyone from the village going? Doing, I guess. Do not worry, Yui is taking care of them. I told her to leave soon and take them all to a certain place. They should be safe for a while, so you just worry about yourself for now. Okay, Doc. Now to think of what we should do next. Shall we leave this forest and head for the desert town of Dazzle? We may learn what Ava and Kessel are up to, not to mention getting some parts for Waltal. The leader of Ava is not going to sit back and let the other knights see Fiasco go unpunished. Okay, we can move. Um, can I save my games? Or leave? Let's try leaving. What is that? I would assume it's an aerial battleship from Ava. Battleship? I've never heard of Ava having anything like that. Of course it does not come from Ava originally. Most likely belongs to the Gebler forces stationed in Ava. Gebler? Special forces from the sacred empire of Solaris known as Gebler. I'm sure you've heard something about them. They are an organization providing large-scale military aid to the kingdom of Ava. They showed up in Ignis several months ago. Until then, Ava was being routed by Kislev. But with the Gebler's help, they had managed to regain half of their losses. But now, now they are expanding their territory and gathering reforces buried in the ruins. I've heard, I've heard the village elders talk about it. Is Ellie a part of that? Quite possibly so. Their group has superior technology and power. It is rumored they are here solely, solely to get the resources in the ruins. I am surprised they are using something as powerful as that ship. It must be to suppress the recent border skirmishes. So they are fighting the Kislev Empire. Yes, it seems they have found new ruins on the northern edge of Ava. Those ruins are under a 500-year-old temple. Three weeks ago, Kislev took over those ruins. Most likely, they are fighting over that. How come Saiten knows so much? That's what I want to know. He's just awesome. Can I say Eves? I can say Eves! We gotta head into the desert towards that building over there. So, I'm gonna save my game. And I will end the video here because it's been 44 minutes. So, thank you guys for watching. See you next time.